I've got a number of different Gmail addresses from different clubs that I'm secretary of, as well as my personal Gmail account. Can I open a Google Workspace account and have all those Gmail addresses in there without having to change them? There's a very simple way to have multiple email addresses working inside your Gmail account. And having one Google Workspace account is a good way of managing multiple email addresses. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't quite work as smoothly as something like, let's say using MacMail or Outlook, where you can have multiple mailboxes and they all sit in one consolidated mailbox where you can see all the different inboxes and then you have one view, which is all of those inboxes together. The way to get that working in Gmail is a bit of a workaround in that you have to forward each one of those email accounts into your main Gmail mailbox. So once you've forwarded them all in, yeah, sure, you can, you can set up a label or you can set up a tag when they're on the way in so you can differentiate between them. But effectively, they're all sitting in one inbox. You can't differentiate between the different inboxes without resorting to those tags. Now, if you wanted to, you can also choose to set separate outgoing email accounts as well. So you can have them coming in and you can have them going out. And that one mailbox that you've created can act as a bucket for multiple separate individual accounts. Let's have a look at the setup for that and how we might get that working. So we're gonna jump into my Gmail here and inside my Gmail, there's a couple of things I need to make sure that I have switched on first in the Google admin panel, uh, but I wanna show you what the finished product looks like quickly first. So I go to send an email and you'll see here, as I'm sending an email, I've got the option to send from lots of different email addresses. These are all of the different email addresses that I have access to sending from. Some of them are from different domains. Some of these could even be a Gmail account if I wanted them to be. Receiving email, I'm not sure if I've got any configured in here to be checked on the way in, but uh, let's go ahead and check that. No, I don't have any emails checking to be retrieved on the way in, but I do have the option to force or push email from other accounts and have them be forwarded automatically into this account. So I want you to imagine you've got one bucket of email and that one bucket of email is the primary mailbox that you decide is gonna be your home for all of your email. Now, that might be on a Google Workspace account. It might also be on a Gmail account. My strong recommendation would be to use a business account or a Workspace account because you have better recoverability if something ever goes wrong you get access to support through Google professional support team. You can work with a partner like us and get more value out of it. You've just got lots more options to protect your data. Whereas with a Gmail account, because it's a personal consumer service, something goes wrong, you don't really have great options for support. And they do get hacked from time to time and people's accounts do get lost. Unfortunately, sometimes that means they lose a whole bunch of data that they needed. So first things first, using a Workspace account is a good idea for this kind of setup. Now, secondly, once you've got a Workspace account configured and we've got videos on the channel on how to get started with Workspace, you do need to go into your Gmail settings in the admin panel for your account and make sure that you've got some settings enabled. So I'm gonna go open my admin panel here at admin.google.com. All right, and I'm gonna look for the ability to forward. Oh, no, it's not actually forwarding. Ha <laughs> ha tricked you. All right, let's go into our mail settings. It's called send as. Here we go. Allow per user outbound gateways. Okay, cool. So you wanna make sure that this is switched on. So if people need to send from an external address, send from an email address that is not a part of your business, but is maybe a part of an external business, sports club, another company, mail provider, whatever, gotta make sure that this setting is switched on in the admin panel for your Google workspace. Then you should be good to go. Now, if you're receiving email on the receiving side, you may want to use, or you may be tempted to use POP or IMAP access. You do have to have that switched on here in the admin panel for that to work. But my recommendation is that you go to the other account and you set up forwarding. Typically forwarding, which pushes email into your account, works better than POP or IMAP, which pulls email from the other server into your account. Only because these POP and IMAP access setups usually only retrieve mail once every five to 10 minutes, whereas a forwarding setup on the other account, external, will push that mail to your account automatically, typically instantly. So it usually works much better if you can get push mail setup. So first things first, you go to your other provider and that could be iCloud, 
It could be a Gmail address. If it's a Gmail address, it's really simple. You go to the forwarding tab and then you set up forwarding and you, you forward it from your Gmail into your Google Workspace account. And then once that happens, you're going to have emails appearing in your inbox, right? So you would then do a search for the email and you would search for emails to the forwarding address, right? Emails to that external address. And then you're going to have those emails obviously appear in your inbox, but you're going to filter them on the way through. Now, I don't have anything forwarded into here to use as an example for now, which is a bit of a bummer, but I don't know. I'll just use, I'll just use my address here. I do have some aliases. So how about I use, you know, rego at itgenius.com. That's an alias of mine, right? Okay, cool. So I've got a, a few emails here when I run this search. And what I would do is I would click the search options here, just next to the search. And then I would choose emails sent to rego at itgenius.com, which is the forwarding address in your case. And then you would say, create a filter. And then we create a filter and we would apply a label, right? And it would be external email one, whatever that, whatever that email account is, you would label the emails as they come in with that email account. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could also move them straight into that label. It kind of mimics having multiple inboxes. And to do that, you would label them, right? You'd have the label there, but you would also skip the inbox because they're gonna to come to the inbox unless you tell it to skip the inbox. If we apply the label, that's kind of like putting it in a folder only if we also skip the inbox. So it goes straight to that label and skips the inbox. That's how you would label the incoming mail. And then the incoming mail has landed in your account. Wonderful, great. Now we need to set up our sending addresses. So we're gonna go back to the settings. We're gonna set up our sending addresses. So we go to accounts and then you can see the send mail as option here. And we need to make sure that's switched on in our account here. Sometimes you'll need an outbound gateway, sometimes you won't, but it's always good to have this uh, set up here. Uh, I'll double check there aren't any more settings specifically for sending. Be nice if Google gave me all the settings in one place. Yeah, maybe not, okay. But you set up the send, send as, and you do that just by following this wizard, right? You put in the email address, I last you for mail service and that kind of thing. If it's a Gmail account, I think it might just go through automatically, but you may still need to use the mail servers. Anyway, you set that up and then you're gonna end up with this email address sitting here in your send as list. Now, the final step is you wanna set up a signature for each one of those emails. And you might wanna have different signatures for each one, totally fine. You go to general here, and then you scroll down and find the signature setting and then you can create a signature and you can choose when you create that signature, which default you want it to go out on, right? So I've got one signature set up and I choose, right, if I'm sending from peter at itgenius.com.au, right, different domain name, I can choose a different signature if I wanna have a different signature there. So you can create as many signatures as you want and different brands for different emails. So that's a really nice way of configuring your email to receive from multiple mailboxes have everything in one place in one account. And you know you only have to worry about the storage for one account. And then you can send from multiple email addresses from different signatures as well, which is really nice. The only downside to this, or one of the only downsides to this is if you wanna send a calendar invite, it can only be sent by the primary domain. And that is the domain of your workspace account. You can't send calendar events from the secondary mailboxes. You also can't send chats from the secondary mailboxes as well, which is a real bummer. So what that means is you probably wanna pick a reasonably opaque enough name for the main mailbox or the main domain name to make this work. Knowing that you can always have secondary domains if you need to send a specific email from a specific domain, but uh, we've seen customers who've done this use something like you know moriartygroup.com and that's opaque enough. You could send a calendar invite from that and no one would really care but you've got your specific and individual email accounts for when you need to send emails under a different identity. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.